Tonight's featured performer I'd like you all to welcome is the dancer Nahid Siddiqui, who is a classical Katak dancer, choreographer, and mentor who lives and works in Pakistan and England. Her organization, Nahid Siddiqui and Company, was established in 1991, and since then it has presented 16 master class productions, earning various awards and distinctions around the world, including Pakistan's pride of performance. Sorry Muse's tentacles expand to the so-called UK, colonizing the imperial center with the brilliance of art. Nahid's most valuable contribution is to evolve her own expression and style, infusing new themes in classical dance. Her exploration and infusion of Sufianic thoughts and words within the context of Katak has brought this traditional dance to a new level of excellence. Nahid has introduced Katak in the curriculum of the University of Surrey in the UK and other educational institutions by making it accessible through performances and educational outreach programs such as workshops, master classes, and residencies. Her work has received support from West Midlands Art, Arts Board and the Arts Council of England. Her most recent production has, was presented at the Royal Ballet. Nahid learned her art from Maharaj Ghulam Hussein Katak and Pandit Birju Maharaj. Please welcome Nahid Siddiqui, expanding Surrey Muse's influence beyond the colony to the post-colony to the metropole, undoing imperialism with the brilliancy of art. Hello, I just wanted to tie the Gungroos so that I can tell you that Gungroos are the ankle bells and uh, they are important for all classical forms but in Kathak this string which I was tying actually is really more than two meters long. In initial stages of learning Kathak, there are very few Gungru's ankle bells. But later on, they keep increasing and we can wear in each ankle 150 to 200 Gungru's. And they are actually made of a special metal which produces sound like birds because all our arts are taken from nature. So many different time cycles, tals are actually composed on the chirruping of birds or the way the dove actually uh, speaks in 10 beats. 
Hazrat Amir Khusro, the great saint and musicologist, humanist, scholar. He composed so many taals, time cycles, and so many ragas, taking from nature. He's taken the concept of symphony from streams and only in silence you can actually focus and listen to that. So our practice actually all our life is meditational and we are alone and we just enhance our listening so that we become one with beats. So rhythm in life is actually balance and harmony is music. So we try and blend both into our being and it actually becomes part of our being. So Kathak is a way of life. Kathak is not only an exhibitional art, it actually enhances your inner being and gives you that focus and silence which then is depicted depicted through your how you practically perform it. Kathak is an art form which has many aspects and one aspect I just now showed which was the footwork and the anvil bells which are called ghungrus are, are actually our instrument. But other than that, another beautiful aspect in Kathak is the well aligned movements which again are taken from calligraphy, from geometry and there is a great importance and aspect of maths in Kathak. So when we actually do the movements or explore the equal side of our body, we are actually exploring alignment and we are painting. So I always say that we paint with our limbs and the fingers and the 
palms, they become the paintbrush. So we have to actually align our fingers, knuckles, hand, wrist, elbows, shoulders, spine, neck, face, knees, everything has to be aligned because the dancer actually is the instrument. So the, our body and the soul is our instrument. Like a musician just picks up an instrument, tunes the instrument and then starts to play. We have to tune our body through yoga, through stretching, through Riyaz. Riyaz is a deeper word for practice and it actually means meditation or practice. So the movements create a song. The movements create the cosmos to move around with us. So I'm just going to explore very few gestures or movements which would actually tell you that how we draw. Our heart center actually is where everything stands out and our fingers act like a brush. So when we draw a line like that, everything, spine, arm and everything goes towards that. When we do this, our emotions go with the movement. When we expand like that, the expansion of the universe engulfs us.